Hello guys and welcome to the Phoenix International Raceway where today we have the stars of the World Offline Stock Car title Ultra Sun Drop Nationwide Series. Going through the starting order on the pole, it is Connor Breton with Brianna Carroll on the outside. Sean Galligan starts fourth, Zach Campbell is Third. Fifth is Will Gass with the number four at Monster Energy Chevrolet Mitch McDonald right there. Zach Goldbeck starts seventh with Devin Becker starting eighth. P2 London is tenth with Joe Cole starting ninth. Monica Carroll will start eleventh and twelfth is Aaron Mason. Thirteenth William Duncan. Fourteenth James Gilson. Cameron Gilson will start in fifteenth. Sixteenth is Taylor Zimmerman. Seventeenth is Devin Smith. Eighteen Bryce Trevette. 20th is Jordan Davis. 19th is DJ Kirker. Tony Blazer starts 21st. 22nd will be Ben Powell. 23rd, Joseph Clark. 24th, Darren Mason. 25th, Marcus Riccolo. 26th is Jason Marshall. 27th, Leo Walker. 28th, Hunter Davis. 29th is Molly D. Evan Gustado is 30th. 31st is Jacob Clements. 32nd, Jake Smith. 33rd, Chevy Gilliam. 34th is Mike Steele. 35th will be Luke Walker. Peter Savano will roll off 32nd. And rookie brand new to the season just got his ride. It is young Chris Smith in the number 61 car. Now, you will notice that we have brand new cars in the field tonight. Uh, those cars being the 15, Connor Breton sporting a new paint scheme here. Bron uh, Brianna Carroll's got one. Oh, Sean Gallion back here. Mitch McDonald has one. Devin Becker has one. Aaron Mason. Lots of drivers with brand new ones as we just go through them. Connor Breton, Brianna Carroll, Sean Gallion, Zach Campbell. Will Goss has one. Mitch McDonald. Zach Golbeck. Becker. Aaron Mason, and I believe that was it. That is it, and then the 61 of Chris Smith is brand new. So, uh, lots of cars in the field today. And it seems to be a beautiful day to race here today. In the Phoenix, in Phoenix, Arizona, for round number two on the World Offline Stock Car Title Ultra Sun Drop Nationwide Series. Here is we are gonna go. Oh, that did not look good. As I try to find last week's winner, this is not last week's winner. Last week's winner. Joe Cole, he will roll off in the ninth position here tonight. That number zero race girl Chevrolet has not gotten an opportunity to, has not, uh, he's only won once this year. That was round number one. Could he double up this weekend and go for two? He did win from the pole last week, yesterday at Homestead. Now, if you're watching the replay, of course, this would be Wednesday's race because Wednesday I uploaded a race and then I upload one on Saturday. So if you're watching this on Saturday, the replay, Wednesday's winner, aka Monday's Sunday's winner, was Joe Cole. So round number two tomorrow will be round number three. Of course it'll be 36 days, but I divide that. It's like 18 weeks. I upload them to YouTube, but you guys, you know, if you guys are watching the live stream version, uh Joe Cole won yesterday. As we get ready to go green here, a lot of new paint schemes as we also will have new drivers coming throughout the season due to the fact that we got a bunch of new cars in the field um, entered as you guys can tell by Chris Smith. Today's race is brought to you by JVC Element TV, Dr. Pepper, Mountain Dew, Ooh. Apple, Sony, Xbox 360, Logitech, and NASCAR 2003. As the engines have, the command has been given to fire engines, 
We are going to go green here from Pocono. No, here in just a little bit. As, of course, our usual ride along here as we're going to get you guys the cars with the roof cameras this weekend. We have one with the number 15 of Connor Breton. Carrying it one more time here on. On here we have one on the number four of Mitch McDonald, first time up row front front row, first time up front starter. We also have one on Devin Becker, usually not with one this weekend. He will carry one. Sporting the holiday in camera is Tony Blazer in the number twenty nine machine. Ben Paul carries the Scots. Jacob Clements. And your final onboard camera is Aaron Mason up towards the front. Here we go. Connor Breton brings the field to the green flag. They are racing. Down into turn number one. Breton leads going into the first corner. Here we go. We've already got three wide battle right behind Breton. Zach Campbell's in the middle of that. Will Goss on the inside. And, and we also have Sean Galligan up there in his brand new Toyota on the outside. Lots of early racing going on around here, trying to fight for positions. Of course, Sean Galligan will run a Chevy and a Toyota throughout the season. As Connor Breton won the pole this weekend through the heat races, he won the first heat. And he started from the pole in that heat. He won the first heat. Heat number two went to, of course, Brianna Carroll, who started on the outside of the front row. She currently runs second right now as they come around to complete lap number two here of 16 from the Phoenix Motor Speedway. Will Goss on the inside, Mitch McDonald on the outside. Zach Goldbeck doesn't usually get talked about a lot. He's right up there. Along with Becker, he's never, he's usually not talked about. He's sporting the number 33 Ford this weekend. Yes, jumping from a Chevy to a Ford. Or also, Purple Lightning Racing has one Ford, and that is Mr. Becker running this race. Look who's fighting his way back through the field. He is currently ninth. He started way, he didn't start too far back there, but he was... It was pretty much in this same predicament. He started ninth in that number zero race, Girl Chevrolet. It is Joe Cole looking to fight his way to the inside of Becker for eighth. P2 London knows what it's like to be on the outside. That's where he got shoved up last weekend. It did not work out in good it work for him as he was one of the many to fall victim to the rear early on in the race from the outside groove. Right now it seems to be holding up for everyone on the outside. Currently running 10th. He wants 9th away from Joe Cole. And he gets it by just a hair. It was a tie at the line. They give it to London on the outside. Monica Carroll, she's down there. She wants some positions. Usually not talked about here. As her car is not usually one of the faster cars around these, uh, around these speedways. Usually when we get to the bigger tracks like Talladega, she will be faster. As we went to off-season practice, that is one place that she was mad fast. Another guy who's mad fast around there, the 06 of Will Duncan. He is on the move here tonight. It bringing that 06 Dish Network Ford Fusion to the front. He wants the outside groove. He's got it. He currently runs 13th. Not a lot going on. Connor Breton still leading, but Brianna Carroll's all over his back bumper. He has not had to compete with this big of a field since last weekend in the heat races. He only had 18 cars to compete with tonight. He has 37. He has 36 other competitors. And right now, boy, is he hugging that inside line trying to keep Brianna behind him. What a shame, what an amazing weekend it would be if the zero of Joe Cole went to victory lane last weekend and we could get Brianna Carroll sporting the number one Dale Earnhardt Incorporated Chevrolet in the field tonight. Cardell Lehman will make his debut tomorrow at the next Speedway, which will be a Wednesday of next week. He will pilot the brand new number 11 Dale Earnhardt Incorporated 
Chevrolet for them. He says he has never done one of these. He is a rookie. He wants a chance at it. Here comes Breton leading all of it, coming to the halfway mark. He could easily take this one for the win. Although it is a good factor to start from the pole right now, he has led every single lap. Could Carol Pax actually catch him by the end of this one? It is a possibility here. She is still all over his back bumper trying to make some moves. Maybe get him loose. Draft with him. Get him up there. She's inching ever so closely on his back bumper right now. Down through the corner, Sean Galligan hoping that one of these two will make a mistake and he will be able to get around both of them. As right now you see Brianna Carroll, she is still on the back bumper of Breton. She wants to take this one away from him. Her sister Monica is towards the rear of the field here tonight. Not really doing so hot. Will Breton be able to pick up that 100 points? So far, he's led every single lap. He is on the move, but Brianna Carroll's still on the yard. Sean Galligan sports it in third. Zach Campbell looking for his career high best finish. Finish in that number, 28 Ford Fusion, usually in a Chevy. This is his first time in a Ford as the top four have broken away from everyone else. A guy that doesn't get talked about a lot, Mitch McDonald, driving the brand new number four Monster Energy Chevrolet. He is currently running fifth and on the move. He may be not in the top group, but he is leading the second group on their way to the front as he possibly could catch Zach Campbell and bring everybody else with him. As right now, it is still the battle up front between Galli uh, between Bree Breton and Carroll. 12 down. Or 12 are in the books. 16. 12 out of 16 are in the books. Here we go in the final five laps. Coming around for four to go. This one could be Breton, but that time by, he was just a little bit faster. He was just a little bit ahead of Brianna Carroll, who is still trying to catch him. She is gaining every single lap here. As she got, well, she was a crush. Last time I came across the line, she was 0 0.13, uh, 15 seconds behind. Right now, she has cropped that down to a 0 0.13. She can easily take this win away from him. If he makes one slight mistake, it has been Connor Breton all the way here as we cross for lap 15. The final three laps here from the Phoenix International Speedway. Probably going to be one of the better races of the year as she loses a kill a second right there. And that is crucial in these final three laps is she needs to make it up or Galligan needs to make the move. But remember, the move that cost Connor Breton last weekend, he wants redemption for Homestead. He went from third to fifth in one lap. He wants redemption. He wants a win. He just might get it here at Phoenix. On his way, marching all the way. Next time by, he will see the white flag as we are under two to go. Carroll on the inside, looking to make a move here on Breton. Will it happen? Carol ever so slightly trying to keep it on the back bumper of Connor Breton. All she needs to do is get right up there and pull to the inside. As they go down the front stretch, she is still right there. She is sick of seeing the black in front of her. She could easily make a move and make the pass if Breton slips up. Tyra was a factor last weekend. Will it be a factor this weekend? As right now, Mitch McDonald has the fastest lap under the white flag. They're going to come around for the checkered out of this corner. Will Connor Breton win it? Will he make a mistake? Again, like last weekend, the pressure, the redemption. Down the front straightaway, off the final corner. Here they come. Connor Breton will win Phoenix. By 0 0.14 seconds over Brianna Carroll, who will take second place. 
Connor Breton wins it. Brianna Carroll second. Sean Galligan third. Zach Campbell fourth. Mitch McDonald fifth. Will Goss takes sixth. It's, that is the best finish for anyone from Purple Lightning Racing. Zach Goldbeck scores a career high in the World Offline Stock Car Title Ultra Sun Drop Nationwide Series. Devin Becker gets a good finish here. PQ London and Joe Cole round out your top five. Good run for the 61 of Chris Smith. He, in his debut race, he finishes 36th out of 37. Congratulations to Connor Breton here tonight, winning round number two on the World Offline Stock Car title. We will see you guys tomorrow if you guys watch the live stream. If not, we will see you guys Wednesday for round number three. My name is DJ Devin Beggar. I have been your commentary host. I own all of this, and I will see you guys tomorrow or Wednesday, whichever one you guys decide to watch. I'm out. Peace.